morning guys right and um, today i've just bought down the compost that i bought uh about a month ago now it was about two quid bags so i bought 20 bags um it's probably got a bit of depletion of nutrients and stuff like that but i bought it mainly for bulk for the polytunnel just to give a top dress i can always add feed to that so it's not really an issue so i bought that down today and i'm going to show you it it's probably you know got bits and crap in it well it's some of it is me also it's gonna have crap in it <laughs> but i mean in the way of like uh bits of sticks and all that you expect that nowadays unless you buy really expensive stuff but this is actually mal court stuff so it shouldn't actually be too bad should we go and have a look come on what I've got guys I've got some silver grow farmyard manure it's 100% peat free now I know we're all changing to that so it's just a case of having to be really isn't it but I've also got these now these are quite a big bag so these are again now caught really good stuff two quid a bag it's an absolute bargain should we have a look what it's like inside let's get these bad boys open if you can see actually all right it's really good I don't know if you can see the water coming out but got a good load of water in there so help keeps the moisture in I suppose that's what this one's like a bit more you know twigs and what not not too much not it's not the worst I've seen, but um, yeah, not too bad, guys. Two quid a bag, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we've got. And like I said, I've got 20 bags of that. Good stuff. And that's all done. So that's a fresh layer of compost. How nice does that look? Right guys, got a bit of an issue. Now, I don't know if you've seen the frog video with in the pond where the pond's like full of frogs. They're at that stage now of spawning, so you know that's normal. But the cat has come for the last two nights and basically it's sat around the pond and it's trying to flick the frogs out of the pond <sighs> nature being nature I get it but piss me off so we're gonna go and put a mesh over the pond just to stop that happening just while they spawn because once they've spawned they do one anyway <laughs> so it's gonna give them a bit more protection from the cat so let's go and sort that guys done guys is, um, I've put this mesh over the top now I've left a gap this side um, as you can see just to let animals in well frogs in and they can get out over that side as well um, it's the best I can do really isn't it some sort of protection at least Right guys, I've came back into the shed because I am sweating in that pipe tunnel. Um, I don't know what degrees it is in there, but I am sweating. Anyway, I just wanted to show you these. They're flower seed tapes. Now, they're really good for pollinators. Now, so easy, right? All you do is just roll them out. 
So all individually spaced into these little row things, different flowers. Now, because all of my beds um, on my polytunnel are square, I want to basically frame all of them with these. So you can, if you picture it, the colour will be absolutely amazing come summer. And I can't wait. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to go and line them all with this. I'll show you. We'll have a look. Yeah, all you do is just roll it out to whatever you know length you want. You can break it off to suit your sort of length of whatever. You can also add on and you just cover it. Like so. morning guys finally the weekend so today we're talking potato seeds now it is getting that sort of time isn't it where we're buying our potato seeds now the question is to chip or to not chip up to you guys there's no real reason why you have to chip some people do just to make sure like the potato seed is viable if you like um i don't usually chip but because they've already, already started sprouting I'm just going to chip them in uh, egg cartons. Now I'll do that because they're individual. Now, if one starts to rot and you're putting them all your potato seeds together, it'll have a knock-on effect and they'll probably all rot by the time you come to plant them out. So try and keep them in a light, dry place, not in a dark place, because they will all go spindly. Like re these shoots will be out here if it's in a dark place. And obviously you want to keep them dry to stop them from rotting. So Charlotte, your lovely second early. So these are a lovely salad potato, really nice. Now I've never grown these, so I don't really know what they taste like, but um, I'm gonna give them a go this year and see what they're like. Yeah, Desiree, Desiree. I will put it up on the, you let me know. <laughs> and obviously the other ones are Charlotte. Um, the Desiree. I'm sure they're a main crop and as I said this is a second early so let's get them in the milk air boxes <laughs> bought some shallots I think these are golden gourmet quite a popular one quite good traditional shallot so yeah they'll be going in course of the week right guys with shallots what I like to do is see all this loose papery stuff I like to get it off now see all these end bits the pointy bits I like to also chop that off just so the top doesn't really struggle to get through, not that it would, but I know Muddy, muddy Boots does it as well, so not just me. Yeah, let's just take all the crap off, snip any bits off the top, and just, yeah, just tidying them up a bit. If there's any mouldy ones, um, get rid of them. Any squishy, mouldy, yeah, discard them. They'll be no good, they won't do anything for you. Obviously I don't take all the paper bits off just if it's loose and crap, you know. So yeah, I did a few um, mouldy ones. Have a look on there, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, a bit mouldy in there. Discarding. And that one, he's a bit funky and all. Get rid of it as well. So yeah, guys, we've got all the loose stuff. Won't do no harm, but I just like to tidy him up. Just grab a look. Yeah, 
And that's that. Golden gourmet. Right there on top of the moon, we could sit and do nothing. I wish we were both to just fly away. I don't want to care. It's being uncle alone. I'll be okay, miss you like an old friend. Thinking I should call up on my I think it's hard how we always wait another day How we watch things again is walk away